Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Austin Code Cipher back again with a brand new video on web development. So in this tutorial we are going to be mainly on the beginner side. So we are going to be talking about the HTML lists where HTML offers different types of lists like the definition list, unordered list, ordered list. So it's the authors or developers to decide on what kind of list he or she wants to use on a web page but right now in this first series of this video we are going to be talking about the unordered lists where to write unordered is list you start with a ul cross it with a ul so ul is short for unordered list and inside this we have the list items and these list items will be the items you want to display on the screen either names of students types of things like any item you want to put on your web page anything so right now I'll put some heading above it it will be an h5 heading so I will say names, names of students, names of students who eat a lot, and I will start with Austin. So let me first increase on the size of the browser. We zoom in. Yes, two hundred is better. So we are having the names of students with a lot. I will copy this three times. I will call this one code. And I will call this one cipher. So these are the students who eat a lot. <laughs> and back to the tutorial. So as you can see, we have created our unordered list, and it's having these bulleted points. But you can go further and change them if you want to change this bulleted point to other type attributes. So you have to target the parent element which is the unordered list and set type. So this is an attribute type. By default it's a disk. So even if we save and refresh the browser, nothing will change. We still we shall still be having the disk type. So allow me create a comment here. So this will be the type attributes. Type attributes. We say the first one is a disk. So another type attribute is what they call a square. So when we save and refresh in our web page, as you can see the bladed points became squares. So that's how you can change the the bulleted stuff you want so if you want a square disk so i will erase this put it here for reference another type attribute we have a circle and when we refresh in our browser we shall be having these light circles so those are the different types of attributes you can put in an ordered list but <coughs> CSS also gives us a chance to target this when you don't want to include this in our HTML the type attribute we can still use CSS to target the same stuff and apply it on our list items so right now document as you can see in the head section I linked my CSS style.css file on my web page and is here 
so what i have to do is to target the parent element which is the ul ul open curly brackets and i'll use the list list type list style story style type so by default we said it's a disk so nothing will change but when i'm to put square square our unordered list will change the bullets to squares and still i can put circle and it will apply the same style so it's advisable adds it's advisable to use the style sheet to target this so that's how you can target your own ordered list in the style sheet and still apply the same effect on those lists you want so guys i'll see you in the next tutorial please if the tutorial was useful to you go ahead subscribe to my channel like the video and share it on different social medias or stone card cipher I'll see you again in the next tutorial. Peace.